I'll go, okay. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to Moving in the Right Direction Radio here on CIUT 89.5 FM in Toronto. And we've been playing Ash's track, Senses, for the last couple of months probably right now. And we've gotten a lot of good feedback. In fact, globally, Ash has gotten over 2.5 million hits or streams uh, for Senses and, and some of the other stuff he's been working on and, and producing. Uh, Ash is born in Cairo, now living in Montreal. Proud to be a Canadian. That's amazing. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and um, really excited to have you on the program today. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really happy to be here today. Thank you uh, we, we were just talking a little bit a few minutes ago about uh, one of my amazements, and, and maybe some people may not know this about you in Toronto, is that um, you actually play multiple instruments while playing live. Tell us about that, how, how that yeah. evolved. So actually, I started playing the piano when I was six. Um, and, uh, you know, I grew up, I'm, I'm 23 now, so I grew up in this, uh, around this electronic music uh, scene and like listening to electronic music. So uh, when I started playing the piano, I, it was mainly classical and, and like listening to all these electronic music, uh, I wanted to incorporate, I want to start producing eventually and start like doing electronic music. Uh, so I started DJing, but then I later realized that uh, when I, I was around 13, I realized that DJing wasn't, wasn't enough for me to like show kind of what I wanted to do, how, how I wanted to, to play my music. So this is like how I learned about playing live music and playing with the live instruments. Um, and yeah, I basically, the reason why I play different instruments today is the fact that whenever I wanted to produce something and when I wanted to uh, add uh, an instrument into my compositions, instead of like getting someone to play that instrument or sampling it, I would decide to just uh, learn it. <laughs> so like the, this is how at like 13, 14, I decided to learn the guitar uh, on YouTube. And then uh, later when I wanted to add a saxophone uh, in my songs, I decided to learn the saxophone uh, and then it evolved into like building more of a live show with playing kind of a one man band type of thing and play with, with all my instruments, uh, in my electronic, uh, tracks. So yeah. yeah incredible. I've, I've never seen anything like yeah. it before actually. So, so that's pretty <laughs> okay. amazing. Uh, obviously you have passion for, for the music you make and, and, and music in general. Uh, where did that come from? And, you know, is that part of your sort of upbringing and like, Yes. Yeah, so I, yeah, I, I grew up in Egypt. Actually, I was born in Cairo, Egypt, and um, my parents used to live in France. So they, they, they would show me like a lot of uh, French music, French songs, and like old French singers like Charles Aznavour, uh, Jacques Brel. Um, he's Belgian, but like most of the of the French and Belgian uh, artists. And I was really inspired by that actually, and also like the Egyptian music was, had a huge influence of me uh, on me too uh and yeah i was like when, when my parents showed me the these old french songs uh it i kind of like wanted to uh you know this is one of the reasons i also wanted to learn the the piano because like it's it was super in inspiring and i i wanted to replay all these songs on the piano all the songs that my parents would show me and also uh another um thing that really helped in, in me wanting to learn the piano is my brother he used to play the piano so uh he would like play around and and I, when i would watch him i really wanted to you know to become like me like him and play the piano too so so this is why i actually started to to play the piano and um and then like the, this electronic um the the all the, the fact that now i make electronic music is because of the fact that i grew up in that era uh so yeah mm -hmm. what have you been doing during COVID? i know i've talked to a lot of artists over the last few months and, and some people have seen a lot of positive things come out of COVID. so they you know their, their tour schedules have reduced and they're yeah. having a healthier lifestyle uh, uh mm -hmm. most musicians and and sort of producers have taken the time to actually make new music and collaborate mm -hmm. with other people because not everyone's flying around and this kind of thing yeah. what have you been up to so yeah, I've I've been working on on a lot of music lately. Uh, 
in the beginning of the of the COVID situation, it wasn't really uh, easy like to to sit down and and focus on music because you know we've been like it was like kind of stressful from from you know it was kind of a stressful time, so it wasn't always super easy to sit down and say okay I'm gonna be creating today because like you had but eventually yeah by by trying uh, a different lifestyle by trying to keep it healthy and uh, I eventually worked on on more music and um, and yeah it was I think it was a, the, the last few months where we're really productive because by being at home most of the time uh, you're able to to work on uh, on more of the on, on more uh, uh, music and yeah it's it i was mainly focused on even if for the foreseeable future we don't know yet like about the 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 live uh, industry yet but i really wanted to focus on my live show and building like a stronger live show than the one i had before because this is you know i want i i like working on a type of live performance where people just don't come and and say, oh, I saw Ash and his music was nice, but I want them to say, oh, wow, I saw Ash and and the music and the show were actually so, yeah. so you know, like it was, a, I, I want to give like a, a unique experience as a whole, not not just like about the music itself. Yeah, so it so, sounds yeah. like a full, full on production. Uh, yes. You know, multi-instrumental. Um, yeah. One of the things that I, I thought about asking you today, and I, I will, is that, um, would you ever consider in the future partnering with someone else in your sets? And would that be difficult to do actually at this point? Uh, no, of course I actually considered that. And um, it, it would be really interesting to, to have, like I, I have different uh, ideas for the future as to uh, how I want to incorporate more people into my, my life. So definitely like a drummer would be really cool, for example uh you know eventually also the songs where uh i collaborated with uh, singers uh i i also want them to come play uh, sing live while i'm uh, make, playing the music but my like my my all-time dream and my my goal is to is to one day uh play um a live show with an orchestra yeah. uh you know it could be because i i've one of my biggest inspirations is david august and uh, and he's done that uh, with the German uh, symphonic uh, orchestra, and like the fact that you can uh, that you can play this electronic music with a real orchestra behind is just it's just a crazy experience. <laughs> and yeah. so yeah, definitely like this this is also one of my one of my goals. Very exciting. Uh, I understand you might be working on a new album right now. Is that true? Yeah, I, I'm I'm actually working on an EP uh eventually like an album too but for now I'm, I'm working on an ep yeah and um yeah it's, it's definitely going to be released in the next few months great exciting yeah. exciting uh do you miss playing live in front of people i do i do i do miss playing live because it's, it's it's a whole different experience and uh you know you get to connect with people you get to really uh you get to really see like how people react uh live <laughs> to your music which is an incredible experience yeah, definitely missed that. Yeah, and have you been doing any live streams or anything like that? I yes, I did. So I did. Uh, I actually did one on uh, on Instagram at the beginning of the um, of the quarantine situation, and then I did another one uh, on uh, Disconnect. It's called it's uh, it's a booking booking agency, uh, and I I actually like uh, I'm I'm working on a new uh, live set right now that I'm going to be broadcasting also online for now. Very exciting. Thank you. One of the advantages of being online, uh, as opposed to doing a local show, is that your, your audience is, is it could be the the world, right? Which is kind of fun. Yeah, it, it is. It is definitely fun because you can reach uh, so many different people in so many different countries, which is super exciting. And uh, sometimes, like if if like some people can't attend the live show, uh, you know, this way it's 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 easier because some people can actually just watch at home. Uh, it's surely like not the same experience for the, for the, um, the viewer. Yeah. Cause you know, you want to be, you know, you want to experience it in real life rather than watching it on a, on your laptop or on your phone. But it's, uh, I think from my side, uh, I find it definitely like it's kind of less stressful cause you don't have to, 
you know, you, you, you're also like the, the other, like it's, it's, it's less stressful in a way, but it's also stressful. Like there are sometimes technical issues too, uh, yeah. you know, with the internet and all. So, yeah. so you, but yeah, it's, it's the experience itself is amazing because you can reach so many different people. Mm. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thank and we're you. really looking forward to your uh, new EP coming out over the next couple of months. Thank you. And, uh, like Thank I you said, so you know, um, we're, we're just really, what a pleasure to, to, to speak with you. And I think you, you have such, you've done so much with your career already at, at such a young age. And I have a feeling you have much more um, ahead of you that that's going to be Thank really you so much. interesting. My pleasure. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you so much, David.